Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a pair of earrings. You'll need two molds, one that makes rings, and one that makes beads. Now this is the one without the center, so you will need to drill a hole into it. You also could use the one with the hole already made. You'll need flush cutters, round nose pliers, 20 gauge wire, and of course you're gonna need UV resin, some dried flowers, some dark purple, and some light purple. You can also use any color of your choice. Um, tweezers, scissors, a drill with a very small bit and the bit is made uh, small enough so that the 20 gauge wire can go through it once you drill the hole. You'll need two jump rings and you'll need two fish hook earrings. Um, you'll also need some, I don't want to forget this, some silver uh, foil. It's like a decorative foil. And we're not going to use any color today. We're just going to basically use just the UV resin and the flowers to use for the colorant instead of actually using some sort of dye or micro powder. So let's get started. To begin, we're just going to cut some of the flowers, just some of the petals off and then place them on the silicone mat. Just move those aside. You'll need your tweezers. You'll need your ring mold and this mold. So since the ring molds are all different sizes, the ring size that we choose um, for this pair of earrings is just basically to make um, like a loop. So we will use um, this larger one here and since there's only one we'll have to make two of these with the beads we can just make two beads and then we're done with that so we're going to first take the UV resin and pour it into two of the beads. Don't fill it up all the way, just um, maybe, oop, that one I filled up a little too much, but about three quarters of the way because we're going to be putting the flowers and the um, the silver foil in. Now um, we're going to need two of these, so we'll just start with the one and we'll just put resin into the ring. All right, so you need your tweezers and your flowers. And um, I am making the two beads here. And I'm making one of these, and then I'll make another one off camera. And then I'll show you after that how to put them together. But we're just going to put the flowers in. You can put them in any way you want. Um, just put as many in there as you think you'll need.
Next, we will put the flowers into the ring. This is a little harder because it's a thinner area. And you just kind of have to slide the flower petals into the ring. And we'll have to clean up the edges again. Now remember when you're using your tweezers, they're sharp on the edges there. So when you're placing um, placing the flowers inside the ring, be delicate. Do not stab through the ring or any portion of the ring. And same with any mold. If you're putting anything into a mold with uh, you know kind of sharp tweezers, just be very careful. We're also going to be using some of the silver foil. So I'm just going to take out a piece and then just break off little tiny pieces and then just place them inside. I think we're going to need a little more UV resin in here. Just break off pieces and then put them along the edges of the ring. Now, if you get resin on yourself, you could always use a baby wipe to clean it off yourself. I use baby wipes to clean my utensils, my molds. It's great. It works for everything. And then we'll just add a little more. So it's up to the top. You fill it to the top. Same with this. You might have to add more. Just make sure it's filled to the top. You can use your mixing utensil with the point and then just make sure you put everything down in there. Push it down. Make sure all the resin is in there. And then on the edges if you see any extra just wipe it wipe it off. It's fine. Okay, and then we're going to um, cure this for three minutes on top, turn it over, and then three minutes on the bottom. Now, if it still feels tacky to you on the top, 
then I recommend just doing it for another three minutes on both sides. All right, now that they're done curing, we can remove them from the mold. Now there's some edges up here that you can just file or sandpaper off, which I'm going to be doing in a second. And then take the ring out. All right, so you could just file off those edges and just get a small file. You can use a nail file, that would work also. Um, and or a piece of sandpaper and then just file those edges that are a little rough if they're sticking out a little bit you can clip them with like a pair of scissors and then file it and then be very careful when you're doing this I'm going to drill the hole that I need faster. Uh oh, I can't find it now. Oh, where's that hole? There it is. Oh, got stuck a little bit. Okay. And you'll also need to drill a hole. Try to make sure it's right in the center and then just drill it right through. There you go. All right, now that you've got your holes drilled, you can see that right there and right there. And it's also all sanded down. We will get a little bowl, place some resin in it. Get a small brush. Okay. and use your mixing utensil, the one with the point, or if you have something else with a point, you can even use your tweezers, but I would say use the silicone because if you get any of the UV resin on it, it just simply comes off. And you'll also need your UV resin light up close because you're going to need that. Um, I just have this just to block the light from like so that this would not dry. And you just take this, you find the hole, place it right on there, and then paint it on. Paint the UV resin on it. So it covers up all those parts that you um, that you sanded down, and then also it'll give an extra sheen to the rest of your bead. Now you can simply hold it in. Make sure that you do not have the light facing anything that still is the liquid resin because it will cure it. So. You can simply put this under the light. These are fine where they are, you, or you can just move them aside. You just put those aside, put this under the light for 90 seconds, and then you can just rotate it. Or if you want to use the glass tile to hold it instead of having your hand near the light, you can just Put it like that, as long as it's not touching anything and it's up high, you can just turn it on and let it stay in there and cure. And that should take about like 90 seconds to about 180 seconds. Now if you have another one, like I do, <laughs> I have two of them. You can just go on to the next, or if you want to do one of the rings, you can do the same with the ring. 
and then I'll finish these off camera and I'll come right back. All right, now that they're done curing, we will need flush cutters, round nose pliers, and we're just going to cut off oh, two pieces about maybe about an inch long. And then you'll need your round nose pliers. Trying to find the flush side. And then we're just going to create a small loop like so. And then we stick the pliers back in, bend it back a bit. So it's curved. And then close it up. We'll do the same with this one. Find the flesh side that's flat. Make a curve and make that little loop. I hope it's not blurry. Put insert your pliers again. Close them against it. Bend it back. And then you can close this up a little bit more. All right, so you'll need your beads and you won't need all of this. That's a little bit much, so we'll clip it off. Oh, I'm not really sure how much that is. Let's just check with the ruler. And it is about, about four millimeters from the loop. And you just do the same with the second one. And we'll set those aside. We won't, we won't need those. That one's a little shorter. Let's do three millimeters, that should be good. All right, so then you'll take your bead and just get your little glass tiles and sticky tack handy. Find your hole. Okay, where well we made the hole. Now you're gonna need your, your brush and your clear UV resin. And you'll paint a little on where the hole is. Take one of these and insert it in the hole. Then place it upward onto the sticky tack, so, like so. Get your second one. A little dab in the, the hole there. Take your little eyelet that we made, little loop, and we'll stick it in there. Oops, I almost dropped it. They're slippery. <laughs> like so. And then we're going to cure that for 90 seconds. All right, so while that is curing, oops. We are going to take another piece, actually two more, at an inch. So when you're cutting these, if you want to cut them in advance, cut four in advance, one, about one inch length for each. And then the edge that does not is not flush, you could just clip a little bit off of that, just a tiny bit. So the edges are flush on both sides. Um, and then, like we did before, make a loop, bend it back, and then close up the loop.
And then you can always go back if you need to readjust it, like so. Right, these are done curing. I'll take them off. Set those aside. I'm gonna take these. You're going to open it to the side and then place one of the beads on and then close it up. And then we'll do the same with the other one. Open this to the side. And then close it up. Now, to put these together, you're going to need to find the hole and take one of your beads and place it through the hole like so. And then you'll need your round nose pliers and then just grip them, grip the wire with the pliers, bend it over like you're going to make a loop. And then you can clip some of this off just a little. It's probably about from the curve, it's probably about like three millimeters, maybe two. And then you can just make your, your loop and bend it back a little bit. And then close it up. And then if you need to straighten it out afterwards, use your chain nose pliers. So that is one. And again, you take your bead, find the hole, place it through the hole from the underneath side. Like so. Round those pliers. And then there's, see there's a little space right there. You're gonna need that. Bend it over. Clip it. Make sure you got enough so you can continue on with that loop. And then bend it back and then reclose it and then you'll need your jump rings next whoops don't want to lose those and then you'll place your jump ring on your loop and then your fish hook earring and then you'll close them up And there you have a cute pair of dangle earrings. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that bell for notifications of my upcoming videos. On the description box below, you will find links to the supplies 
and you will also find links to my artwork, photography, and my jewelry. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.